absorb the word of God. Like a sponge, we got to soak it up and allow God to write his word upon the tablet of our heart. The book of Revelation talks about eating the book. Eat it up. Eat it all. I mean, like like the, the sister was saying earlier, you know, she's hungry like a man eating a steak. Eat up the word of God, whether it be through song, word, or testimony. Man, just, 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 just open up and let it come on in. Amen. Receive what thus saith the Lord. We are healed by his stripes. My friend, today, you may feel like you're going through pure hell. You may feel like you're all alone, but I've come with good news. You're not alone. If you'll reach out and take a hold of the unchanging hand of the great I am, if you'll repent from your sins, turn from your wickedness, and run into the arms of Jesus, my God, you can walk healed. You can walk prosperous. You can walk with joy that is indescribable. Man, you can walk with the love of God flowing out of you as you walk down the street. It rolls out into the highways and byways. Do you hear me? Because you're going to be like a city that's set on a hill that cannot be hid. It's time to take the bushel off your light, my friend. If you're born again and you're in a lukewarm condition, you've laid down, you've uh, took a nap on Christ, let's say. Well, it's time to wake up and get up and get out and get busy in the kingdom of God. Do you hear me? We need your help. I know other ministries need your help. You need to pray and allow God to place you in a place where they're going to put you to work. If you're just showing up and being a bench warmer, you really need to think about that. Are you one of those sorry, slothful servants that's not doing nothing in the kingdom of God? Hey, in the book of Revelations, he says, take that sorry, slothful servant bind him hand and foot and cast him into outer darkness. Do you hear me? I don't know about you, but I want to be found doing something for my precious Lord and Savior. I want to be found telling this world about the love, grace, and mercies of Jesus Christ. I want to tell you there's a way of escape from the pit of hell, and his name is Jesus Christ. I want to tell you uh, there is a cure for cancer, and his name is Jesus Christ. I want to tell you there is a cure for a headache, and his name is Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you there's a cure for a toothache, as Sister Rachel would tell you, and his name is Jesus Christ. Do you hear me? He is the cure. He's our all in all. He's our water when we're thirsty. He's our meat when we're hungry. He's our crutch to lean on when we're wounded. He's your best friend that'll go further with you than mama and daddy can go. He'll never leave you. No, he'll never forsake you. He's right there with you right now. Even though you may be uh, feeling like the whole world's come against you and like every demon out of hell is sitting at your front door, well, it's time to stand up and proclaim the good news. Whom the Son is set free is free indeed. Turn your back on sin, walk away, come out from amongst the world, and be ye a separated people, and stand. Whoo, glory, hallelujah. Stand and speak such as you ought with the boldness of the Holy Ghost, uh, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. And watch what God does with you. Jump up on the potter's wheel. For we're the clay and he's the potter. Let him shape you into what he would have you to be. This day, this moment, this hour. Yeah, this is the day of salvation right now. Hey, if you got an all against somebody, forgive them. Just forgive them. You know, just forgive them. Just throw it away. Just forgive them and love the hell right out of them. Do you hear me? Just forgive them. It's that simple. Forgive them and love them. Love them. I said love them. That means you got to get involved in their life. You got to do good to those that uh, despitefully use you. You got to show up, man. You got to put your hands on the plow. And don't you look back. You keep your eyes focused on Jesus. You get a made up mind, come hell or high water, that you're going to obey God and watch what he does in your life, my friend. Wow, you'll go places you never thought you'd go. You'll do things you never thought you'd do. And you will say things you never thought you'd say. But the main thing, obey God. Obey the Lord, my friend, in all things and all areas of your life. Amen. You do that. I'm telling you, you're going to have this joy we're talking about that I can't even describe. It's indescribable. You cannot tell somebody how good it feels to be walking in the presence of Jesus, our precious Lord and Savior. Well, glory, you can't, you can't describe it. It's better felt than it is told, my friend. <laughs> Amen. Hey, we love you. No matter what the world says, know this, that God loved you, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, that's you and I, friend, would believe. Do you believe today? It's that simple. It's that real. You're a heartbeat away from heaven or hell. Where will you spend eternity? 
get it settled. I pray that you accept Jesus Christ today as your personal Lord and Savior. I pray today that you humble yourself down at that old-fashioned altar right there where you're at, them knees, and you cry out to God and get things fixed, get things settled, that you'll rise up a new creature in Christ Jesus, that you'll reach out and take a hold of that unchanging hand of the great I Am. Do you hear me? I'm talking to you. Don't be looking around the room. I ain't talking to them. I'm talking to you right now. It's time for you to stand up and proclaim your victory in the name of Jesus. It's time for you that saying you're born again, bathed in the blood. It's time for you to go to work in the body of Christ. Yes, yes, I said you. It's time for you to go to work. I know you don't want to do it this way or that way. You want to do things your way, but I'm going to tell you it's going to be Jesus' way or it's going to be no way. Pray, pray, and if God lead, then move. If God says stand still, stand still. If God says jump, jump. Whatever the Lord tells you, it ain't going to make sense to the flesh. Hmm. But the Spirit will bear witness. Do you hear me? Because His sheep know His voice and no other voice will they follow. Do you hear me today? I believe you do. Give us a call at one nine three one two two nine zero seven six eight and share your testimony, share your, your prayer request, share your question, or hey, do, do this. Just call to just say howdy. Can you just call and say howdy, evangelist? Can you do that? Just that. You got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Pray about being faithful and calling once a day. We'll share it on the radio program right here, the Gospel Music Jukebox. We want to let the world know that God's not dead. He's alive and he lives forevermore. I'm just not speaking into the wind. No, I'm speaking to the born-again children of God, my brothers and my sisters. I'm not only asking you to go a mile, I'm asking you to go twine. I'm asking you to obey God. Please pray about it. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like for me to pray with you live, you can do that. You can call me, amen, at uh, one nine three one two one zero. 0535 and if my cell phone's in a working area you know how cell phones are that is my cell phone it's been donated to the ministry for a prayer phone we keep that on and charged up as much as humanly possible there's times it does go dead so leave a message or there's times i'm in a zone that it doesn't work but please leave a message and i'll pray over it and i'll try to call you back just as quickly as i possibly can to let you know that we received your prayer request We love you. We thank God for you. And we want you to know you're not alone. Christ is right there. And the body of Christ, yeah, the true church, the born-again believers, the children of the Most High, love you, my friend. And we want to pray with you and agree with you for your victory today. Amen. Praise God. God is awesome, man. He's awesome. We'll be right back with more testimonial letters about the miraculous prayer cloth healings that's going on, not only here in America, but all over the world. God is awesome. Shade of the tree 
Praise God. Sister Rachel Honeycutt there out of uh, Kentucky says, Thank you all for the crosses and the CD. Love them. I had one of the crosses in my pocket on my way to work yesterday, and when I got there, Tracy was there getting her W-2 papers. She is on medical leave. Her mother is the one uh, they put back on the vent, the vent last night. Uh, it was meant for her to be there and me to give her a cross for her mother. She had to go back to UK last night and was going to put it on her. Thank you so much. Love you all. Sis, thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this ministry. We couldn't do this without people like you that has the love for God and that walks in obedience to God. Thank God for you. Uh, let me know anytime you need some to give out. We'd love to send you a couple hundred. Whatever you need, just let me know. Uh, amen. Uh, those of you listening, if you want to be uh, part of the outreach right here at the Gospel uh, Music Jukebox, all you got to do is just say, hey, send me a, a hundred. I want to mail them out. I want to give them away. I want to be a blessing to people in my community right there where you're at. And uh, we'll get those out to you as quick as uh, humanly possible. Amen. We'll, we'll do that. <laughs> uh, amen. All right. Uh, her mother. Okay. Praise God. All right. Uh, praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, yes. Two ten oh. Yeah. That's the number to call me. Yes. Uh, yes. She can call any time if if I'm. I'll try to keep it in a working uh, area. I'll try to keep at least one bar on my cell phone at all times. Um, but uh, be sure to let them know that if I, I don't answer, they can either continue to call back or I will call them back as soon as I get in a place where it works. Amen. You know how song, cell phones are this day and time. Amen. Yes, Lord. We thank God for you and your family, uh, Pastor Jordan and Sister Rachel Honeycutt up there in Kentucky. Just Continue to obey God. I, I don't know how to say thank you enough. You guys are so precious. All of you, all you listeners, all those of you that are dedicated and say, hey, I'm I'm behind the gospel music jukebox. I'm over there. I'm going to listen. I'm going to pray for them. Leave your comments. Let us, you know what your comments do is it lets the people see the love of God that you have to share with them. That's why I keep hammering people. Come on, participate. I need your help. Amen. Praise God. God is awesome, my friend. He is awesome. Besides him, there is none other. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, we'll get those out in the mail to Sister Rachel. She says, oh, okay, thanks. I would I would love some more, and I will give them out. Amen. That'll tickle that young man to death, and uh, I'll tell him, amen. That's his goal. He has a vision of giving these out all over the world. So, Pray for them. They better get on the ball making plenty, hadn't they? When they tell us to be a blessing, we love to share the anointing of God, whether it be.